Hi, and welcome to the RespiCast submission tutorial. RespiCast, or the European Respiratory Disease Forecasting Hub, combines multiple forecasting hubs for several respiratory disease indicators, including influenza-like illness, acute respiratory infection, and indicators related to COVID-19. Here, we will explain how you contribute your forecasting model through GitHub. You can also find all this information in written format at the GitHub Wiki page. To find the GitHub Wiki page, click on Get in Touch and choose the hub you would like to join. There are different hubs you can join. The ELEs and the REs have a similar submission process. For this instruction video, we will focus on the ELEs. From here, click on Code. Now we are on the root of the repository. The first thing you must do to contribute your model is to fork the repository. If you would like, you can change the repository name. Then click Create Fork. Now you have created your own copy of the repository. After forking the repository, you will now add your metadata file. Click on the Model Metadata folder and then click on Add File and Create a New File. Now add the required parameters. The required parameters are your team name, your model name, the abbreviated name of your team, the abbreviated name of your model, model contributions, a list of all individuals involved in the forecasting effort and their affiliations. All contributors need to provide name, affiliation, and email. Team model designation. Upon initial submission, this field should be one of primary, proposed, or other. For team submitting only one model, this should be primary. For each team, only one model can be designated as primary. Methods. A brief description of your forecasting methodology. You should also add the data inputs, which is a description of the data sources used to inform the model. The file should be named team-model.yaml. The name must correspond to the team abbreviation and the model abbreviation parameters. Make sure to save it as a YAML format. Then commit your changes. Here you can see that your metadata has been uploaded. For other optional parameters and specific requirements, you can go to the metadata section from the wiki page. Back in the repository, we can find the ground truth data for forecasting targets in the folder target data. You can download the latest ELE incidents by clicking the ELE incident CSV file, clicking on the raw button, and copying the link. If, for example, you are using R, you can load this by using the read.csv function in the read R library. Paste the link in the function in quotation marks. Next, let's look at the submission format. Back on the wiki page, you can find the submission format section. You should provide a CSV file that must contain the required variables. No additional columns are allowed. So first is the origin date, which is the last day of the submission window in the indicated format. The new data is uploaded between Friday and Monday, and you must submit once the new data has been uploaded, and you have until midnight on Wednesday. The target in this example is the fixed string ELE incidents. Target end date is the last day of the target week, which should always be Sunday. Horizon, which is the week ahead from one to four. So, as an example, if today is Wednesday the 7th of February and the data is uploaded to Ervis Friday the 2nd of February, then the latest data is until the previous Sunday, 28th of January. Our submission window then starts on the Friday of the data uploading and ends on Wednesday the 7th of February. So the origin date is the 7th of February, which is the last day of the submission window, and the first forecast is for the week Monday, 29th of January, until the 4th of February, which makes the first target end date the 4th. So according to this, the following target end dates are the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th of February. Then we must have the location column, which is an ISO2 country code. We then must have the output type, one of quantile or median, output type ID, so when the output type is quantile, one of the 23 accepted quantiles, and when the output type is median, it should be an empty string. And finally, the value, which is the forecasted incidence, a non-negative number of the new ELE cases in the target week. 
it can also be a decimal value. The name of the CSV file should be the origin date in the right format dash team name dash model name similar to the model metadata. Here is an example of how the CSV file output should look like. Once you have the CSV file of your forecast, the final step is to submit your forecast. Back at your own fork repository, click on model output. Create a folder with your team dash name string. The first time you submit, make sure to create this folder. The second time you upload your forecast, ensure you're inside the existing folder. We need to create a placeholder file as GitHub does not allow empty folders. We will later delete this placeholder file. Upload your forecast CSV file to your folder. And commit the changes. In order to delete the placeholder file, go back into the model output folder. Find your model. Click on the placeholder. Up here, you will find delete file. Click on delete file and commit the changes. Since you are still in your fork, you want to contribute your changes by clicking contribute and open pull request. Here you can add your title. We suggest you put your team name, model name, and date of submission as title for your pull request. Finally, click pull request. This is the final step which will launch the acquisition process. This may take some time since the forecast file and metadata file needs to be validated. For the next and following submissions, make sure to sync your fork. Once your submission is merged and the submission window closes, you will be able to see your forecast in the RespiCast website and it will be part of the Hub Ensemble forecast. Again, any of this information can always be found in the wiki of the GitHub page. Make sure to join one of the hub of the RespiCast and to sign up to the forecast mailing list, which can all be found on the Get in Touch page. Thank you for partaking in the RespiCast hub and good luck with your submissions.